Today I would like to talk about creating natural looking curls. This type of curls that cater from Lowe's TV series has. So I would like to focus on three main techniques that I'm using for this effect. So the first one is by braiding hair into a French plate. So these curls can be obtained by braiding your hair. I've made a tutorial on this so you could check this out for details, but now I would like to talk about two other techniques, which are by using cell grip rollers and uh, a curling iron. If you choose to use cell grip rollers, this kind of small cell grip rollers, you can actually avoid applying any heat. You just need to have enough time to wait for your hair to be completely dry. So you start uh, setting your rollers into uh, totally dry hair, but you prepare some water or you work near the sink. So you take a small section of hair, you wet your hand uh, in the water and you use the amount of water from your hand to kind of dampen each section that you're working with. You start from the top and you apply your hair on roller like this. So the first roller will have hair going away from the face, like away from the face. And then when you proceed to the following rollers to get the more natural looking results, you want to alternate the direction of curl. And the next one, you would be curling it like this toward the face. So I use a tiny clip to secure the rollers in place. I will not uh, be going on with this technique because I would like to show you the curling iron method, but um, you've got the point. You have to go on with applying rollers in layers, the top layer, then the middle layer, and you'll have some hair in the bottom too, near the neck. Then you either leave it dry naturally or dry them with a blow dryer. In case of the curling iron, we want to start curling our hair from the bottom layers and therefore we want to section off the hair from the top. And then we start curling hair from this section. So we take small strands of hair, take a curling iron and uh, do something like this. So we want to alternate the direction of curl here too. So for example, this curl will be curled like this. Uh, it was just over the face. So the next one would be curled away from the face. This technique will actually produce uh, waves and spirals. Spirals and first and waves if you separate um, those spirals with your fingers or brush your hair through for a totally different effect. You could also curl your hair by taking the end of each section that you curl with your curling iron and then just rotating the curling iron like this around itself. This technique would produce round, bigger curls than those uh, obtained by curling your hair it like this. So now I'm going to show you how this technique looks in practice. I'll turn on my curling iron and show you the results.
once you're done with curling your hair, you should get this type of curls. And you can see that I didn't touch them, I didn't brush them, and I already got a great hairstyle for special occasions. So at this point, it's completely up to us to decide what we want to do with these curls, because we can either leave them like this, or we can brush them through to create a gorgeous, stunning, old Hollywood looking wave. This is yet another technique to get this wave. Or we can separate the curls with fingers to get more natural looking curls, which are great for casual occasions. So now I'm just going to do something like this, play with my hair to make it look more natural. After a couple of minutes of playing with my hair, I got these natural looking curls or waves and I'm ready to go. So I thank you very much for watching and uh, I hope that you enjoyed the tutorial and we'll start practicing mentioned techniques. Bye bye!